Okay, so in this video we're going to edit the path. And the path basically determines the order that your camera goes to each item in your Prezi presentation. So over on the left here we're going to start by clicking on the Edit Path button. And that's going to allow us to see all the steps that the camera takes. First thing I want to do is clear all. So I'm going to check the clear all to remove all of those paths. Then I'm going to start by clicking on the outer frame as my first view. And I'm just going to go around to each of the beetles and I'm going to click on the circle that surrounds each beetle. Careful not to select the things inside the circle. We just want the entire view of each beetle to come up. As I do that, you can see them getting added to the path. Once I'm done with Ringo, I'm going to also click on the YouTube video as sort of view number six. And we're going to finish off by clicking on the outer frame to see a final view of the entire thing one more time. When you're done, click the Done button and we're ready for the next step. Okay, so we're ready to present our Prezi. All we have to do is hit the Present button up here. And what's going to happen is it's going to take over our screen and go to full screen mode. And these little arrows down here can be used to navigate through the presentation. And what happens is it basically goes to each of the views that we set up in the prior step. So I'm going through each of the beetles here one at a time, just as I set it up in the views. When I'm done with the last beetle, it goes to the YouTube video. Now it does lag a little bit here simply because it's downloading from the internet. So the performance will depend on your internet connection. But there are things you can do. Now when we're done, notice it comes to the full view final screen. We can rewind to the beginning again. And this time when we go through it one more time, I want you to pay attention to what's happening to that YouTube video. It basically freeze frames at the last spot it was at when we moved away from it. So this time when we go through, we go through our four beetles one at a time and that part happens just as normal. But when we get to the YouTube video, it's going to pick up where it left off. And that's not necessarily what you want to have happen. So one of the things you need to remember is when you're going through it more than once, you do have to rewind it a bit to uh, get it back to the beginning. So now when we go back to the start, and I'll just play it one more time for you, you can see um, it starts at the beginning like it should. So I've, I've had to do these before where I've presented to more than one audience, one after the other. I always have to remember to go back to the YouTube video and just basically rewind it from the start. And then it works fine. And then I go to the final view and we're all done. So when you're ready to get out of presentation mode, you just press the escape key and uh, that'll bring you back to your editing screen. Um, I want to show you one other way to present where you can do it in mini screen mode. So if I just exit the presentation here, you'll see a smaller view of my presentation with those same um, handles that can control the flow of the presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and use these arrows to go through it one more time. And you can see sort of the same results, but in a miniature version. Now the YouTube video has the same issues as it did in the full screen video. One being lagging, it takes a little while to download the video. The other being when you're done with the video, it'll sort of freeze frame where you left off. You can rewind it the same way that you did before. But I want to show you one more trick with the YouTube video to make the performance a little bit better. So as I go through the presentation a final time, when I get to the YouTube video, I wanted to show you something that comes up on the screen when I mouse over to pause it. You'll notice that there's the light gray and the dark gray bar. I want you to look at this dark gray bar with me just for a second. That represents how much of the video has been downloaded to your computer already. I find it very effective to play it once through, get as much of that downloaded to your computer as possible, and then go back to the beginning, rewind it, and start playing. What I find is it loads the video a lot faster. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and rewind it and reset it. And now my presentation is ready for the next view. If I rewind it to the beginning again, the video will start at the beginning and it will load a lot faster. All right, so that wraps up our Beatles assignment, our Beatles presentation. Hope you enjoyed that. We're going to do another one now that's a lot more advanced, starting from scratch. That helps you learn the tools a lot more in detail. In our next presentation, we're going to work with 3D backgrounds and not rely as much on the Prezi templates, but build our presentation from scratch. This way you're going to learn a lot more of what goes on underneath the hood of Prezi and be able to customize your own presentations more to your liking.